Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Marcus Anagi Reacts Man and we back at it with a, another video. Time has come. Full Metal Alchemist, episode one, episode two. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Let me make sure I get that part straight. I am watching this in dub, not sub. That might hurt some people. Some people might get mad about that. A majority of people who react to this show I've seen have done the dub, but also my homies and stuff, they've been saying that the dub is actually like known for being really fucking good, arguably better than sub. I'll take that word for it. And also, hey, if there's a good dub, that's harder to do. And I'd rather watch it in dub just because if it's good, then it's good. You feel me? I don't gotta read. I can not stress out my eyes and I can fully focus on the show. I was like that with Attack on Titan in the first two seasons with all the information and stuff. Like I, I trust my boys. They said the dub's golden. So, hey, Full Metal Alchemist, episode one, episode two, dub. I'm gonna adjust the lighting real quick and uh, we're gonna get into it. Three, two, one. Yee. Let's get it. The freezing alchemist. Really? He's here? We have information that he managed to slip into Central a few days ago. That's why I've summoned you here, Colonel. I need you and your men to smoke him out and bring him in. Consider it done, sir. Last thing, our rising young star is here as well. There's I'm Mustang? Him at your disposal. Forgive me, Fuhrer Bradley, but just to be clear, are you referring to... I am. The full metal alchemist. Edward Elric. Damn it. The Colonel's never gonna let us out of here, is he? We already bought our tickets for Lior, too. Does this mean we're not going? I don't know, Al. For now, let's just get this over with, okay? Hmm. Lead the way, brother. Wait! You halt! Halt or I'll shoot! They said he's the freezing alchemist, right? Freezes water boils. Either way, oh, we're straight. Just is dead. That's alchemy. What a nasty thing to do. You of all people should know, Great Deidre. Oh, he boiled his ass? Isn't that the law of equivalent exchange? Save your breath. The laws of alchemy don't justify murder. <laughs> the laws of alchemy? Oh, he's a metal bender? Go crazy. Don't be too impressed. Now! What? Damn. No, I had you! Any water there should have boiled! If it's any consolation, you did ruin my coat. A young, gifted alchemist. One who doesn't use transmutation circles. And who has an auto male right arm. I know you. Metal alchemist, Edward Elric. Edward so Elric. So that's Edward and then the big no, metal dude's Al. I'm his younger brother, Alphonse. But he's a runt. Oh, yeah, can a runt do this? <laughs> alchemist is just a little kid. Don't call me little! <laughs> you know, brother, I don't think he was really Oops. talking about your height just now. Well, even if he wasn't, he still pissed me off! Looks like you underestimated your opponent, Full Metal. Who is this guy anyway? His name is Isaac. Mustang McDougal. reminds me of the older Isaac brother from uh, Blue Isaac Exorcist. The Freezer. He's a former state alchemist. Former. That's right. He served in the Ishvalan War. He's been working with the anti-establishment movement ever since. Taking him into custody is a matter of top priority. Off topic. Have you turned up any leads for getting your bodies back to normal? <laughs> Maybe if you ever gave us time to look! Roy, how goes? Heard you let him put you in charge of catching the freezer, huh? One hell of a nasty assignment. I understand that you two don't have a place to stay, which means you'll have to come with me. <laughs> my wife, Gracia, and my daughter, Alicia, we'd love to have you. I'm scared. This is going really cute. <laughs> like, a lot of stuff about all this is being really cute. But we just seen some fucking... Mr. Freeze over here boils someone to death and freeze him. I like Ed. He's funny as fuck. I like, so far, low-key, I'm liking this. Like, the vibe of everyone's really cool. I like the art style, too. Alf, 
Fonz, how are you gonna eat wearing that armor? Take it off, relax. Uh, well, you see, uh... He's not allowed to. He has to wear it all the time. It's, uh, it's part of his alchemy training. You know how it is. Alchemist wants me to come play his sidekick. Well, as fun as that sounds, the Crimson Alchemist works alone. I always have. Kimberly, if we work together, we can bring down Bradley and his godforsaken military. You know the things Bradley ordered us to do, the kind of man he really is. That's why you killed all those officers, isn't it? To send him a message. <laughs> I think you've got me all wrong. The reason I killed all of those men was because I could. It's that simple. You awake? <laughs> Miss Gracia's quiche. It looked a lot like Mom's, huh? Yeah, almost as good, too. Really? In that case, I'm definitely adding it to the list of things I'm gonna eat once I get my body back. Brother? Hmm? I sure would like to get our old bodies back soon. I know. Me too. Dude, the dub's voice of the little kid is like... One sad more. as fuck. When you find him, shoot on sight. That is an order from the Fuhrer himself. Ooh. But if I find him first, he's mine. Oh, that voice. Is that you, Armstrong? Indeed! None other! It is I, the strong-arm alchemist, Alex Luis Armstrong in the flesh. I've always wanted to chop that ego down to size. <laughs> Water from his canteen, huh? Thanks for the quick save, Al. Let's go, he's getting away! Come then, after me, Elric brothers. Right! Freezer. If I'm really quiet a little bit in this reaction, it's because there's well, so Roy much Mustang. happening. And I'm so trying to... Flame Alchemist came out to play. Oh, Mustang here. Easy on both of us. I'd rather not fight an old war buddy. Only military bastards are their damn dogs! <laughs> when water meets flame, the flame goes out. Ooh. There's nowhere to run this time! Clearly. But who's running? Oh, alchemy circle. Or oh, that is that even considered an alchemy circle? An alchemic reaction. Oh, he's summoning he some failed. shit. Impossible. Unless you don't think he's a philosopher's stone. He's freezing all the moisture in the air. Edward Elric. <laughs> You've sworn your life to the state of the dog of the military. But do you really know the ones you serve or what their true plans are? Who cares? Oh, he'll lead us all to ruin. I'm only doing what needs to be done. I told you I don't care. <laughs> Low bro on all the smoke. Fuck, wait, is that a river? I know. So where is it? You have a Philosopher's Stone, don't you? What are you talking about? I won't ask again. Where is it? And what are you going to do, boy? You're out of your lead! Yeah, I was like, you put him by a river, bro. You bought a water-style water dragon juice with that ass. If they all meet in the middle... Ah, uh, damn it! It's Central Command! He's gonna, gonna freeze it over! <laughs> Major! Al and I will try to slow him down. Can you handle the transmutation circles? Consider them erased. I'm on it. You can play that game. Are you good? Too slow. Burn his ass. Alphonse. Oh. No one in there. It's empty. But that, that could only be true if the soul was bonded to the armor. I see. It all makes sense. You fools committed the ultimate taboo. You attempted human transmutation, didn't you? Alchemy's one and only unforgivable sin.
You know? Oh. There are some lines you really shouldn't cross. Ooh. Ooh. Stomp his ass out. Jump his ass. He was talking about Lil Bro. Stomp his ass out. Yeah. Jump him. There's no water for you Don't to stop. Huh. Curve stomp his ass. Something. I have all the water I need. 70% of my body. He's bloodbending. Why can't you fools understand? I'm trying to save this country. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Come on. You can't say you're going to save this country and then laugh that evilly. What do you think of my flames now, you bastard? Ooh. When will he learn? It's bad oh, enough he that he's useless on rainy days. Was he drenched in gasoline? I'm dead. <laughs> she said on rainy days he's useless. Perfect. You about to a one shot him or what? That looks sick. Ooh. This orchestra choir song in the background is crazy. One shot his ass. Bah! guy Fuhrer Bradley you're here oh uh, yes job well done full metal I came out to see if I could lend a hand Cold so idea. he's the guy that's Never like wishy-washy you're the man of the hour hmm. yeah I just destroyed the transmutation circles I had such high hopes for him too but the philosopher's stone <laughs> sounds like he overused it gluttony Try to chew quietly. I'm on the phone. We'll be ready. It all begins very soon. Standing, deconstructing, and reconstructing matter. However, it is not an all deconstructing and reconstructing matter to create something out of nothing. If one wishes to obtain something, something of equal value must be given. This is the law of equivalent exchange. In accordance with this law, there is a taboo among alchemists. Human transmutation is strictly forbidden. For what could equal the value of a human soul? That makes sense. Okay. Making something out of nothing, but there can't be nothing. It has to be something to turn it to something else. To create nothing into something would require human trans, whatever the hell he just said. But it's taboo to do that because... That would require, essentially, human soul to be sacrificed in order to create something. But what is equivalent in the exchange of, in the equivalent exchange of having a human soul turn into something else? And what could even be created from that? Because everything seems to be elemental. That was kind of dark. <laughs> that, was, that was dark, but that was kind of cool. So let's, let's, let's see. Brother. Let's see what we're doing the right now. The stories about this priest in Lior. You think they're true? Transmute flowers out of thin air, right? Could just be sleight of hand, some cheap trick like that. But what if it's not? Right. If it's not, then I suppose all that leaves is the real thing, huh? The of Xerxes in one night. The grand elixir, sealed away by the Eastern Sage. It goes by different names, but it's always the same thing. Some kind of object that amplifies alchemy. Philosopher's Stone. Just get our hands on it somehow. I might be able to get your body back. Damn books! They tell us everything but how to find it! I'm messing up your dad's study again. Oh, and Ed, okay. you know better than to scribble on the floor. Yeah, but it's not scribbling. Here, watch. Oh my, that's alchemy, isn't it? All right, did we mess up? No, no, <laughs> it's great. You definitely take after your father. My little geniuses, you make me so proud. And that was it. Mom had given us all the encouragement we needed. Epidemic swept the country. The sickness came, and it took her. He 
brother. Mm. I'm hungry, aren't you? And it's cold here. Let's go home, please. Once Dad comes back, everything will Don't be even talk about him! That bastard doesn't care about us. He's not our dad. He didn't even come for Mom's funeral. Mm. Mm. Trisha. You know, there might be a way we could bring Mom back. But I thought it said in all the books that using alchemy to make people Ooh. is something you're not supposed to do ever. That's right. That's why it'll be our secret. And who are you to talk anyway? Every time your parents go away somewhere, you cry like a little baby. Uh, I, I do not, I don't. <laughs> are you sure, baby? I'm so stupid for worrying about you. I'm going home to tell Grandma not to make you any dinner. Hey, for us. <laughs> Thanks That's for what you dinner. get. That's what you get. <laughs> Dude, the no. the dub voice on this little kid is you like me making you, me sad. Subatomic shrimp is crazy. <laughs> if y'all hear the rain, very sorry. Chicago literally was so nice today. It wasn't supposed to rain. Now it's stormy. Sure it is. Just one leap, that's all it takes. And it's what we need to figure out human transmutation. Trained with an alchemy teacher to prepare our bodies as well as our minds. It took years of constant... Was that dude? The crimson dude? Mom smile again. And we're ready. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, mm. 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. I don't know about this. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 250 grams. We need some soul data. Soul data for it. blood is crazy. This is about to go so bad. Something doesn't feel right. There's some dark side <laughs> shit. Ooh. Ooh. It can't be a rebound. Those hands? Are we in hell? Who are you? Called by many names. I am the world. I am the universe. I am God. I am truth. I am all. I am one. And I am also you. You have dared to knock on the door. Now, the door is open. Quiet, child. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah! I will show you the truth. Ooh. Oh, this is dark. Like all of the information in the world was being poured into my brain at once. It's too much! It's too much! Make it stop! What's happening to me? Stop it! Make Ooh. it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> felt like it was about to burst. <laughs> How was it? I see. My theory of human transmutation wasn't wrong. It can be done. It's possible. It's still just missing something. This. Surely you knew. <laughs> it's the law of equivalent exchange. Right, young alchemist? Ooh. Damn it! This can't be happening! It can't be! No! He's gone! What have I done? Somebody help me! Somebody! Please, Mom! Mom, please! What the hell is that?
Wow, so then he sacrificed his his right arm hey, to put the, his brother's soul back now, into that anyway, armor? That's crazy. Exactly. Lieutenant Colonel, they're not in back either. What is this? Where are they? Where are the Elric brothers? I want them found! <gasps> hey, what is this? You have no reason to come barging in here! What's that? What did you do? We're sorry. We didn't mean it. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Boy, are you? Ooh, I don't like the dub actor's voice. In a good way. Like, that's sad. That's a sad ass voice. Expected to find was a boy skilled enough to attempt human transmutation, or advanced enough to bond a soul to a suit of armor. I'd say he's more than qualified to become a state alchemist. They may be able to find a way to get their bodies back, or even more. Right after he came stumbling to my door, half dead and covered in blood, I went over to their house to see for myself what had happened. What was there? Whatever that thing was, it wasn't human. Alchemy created that abomination. It nearly killed them. And you want to throw those boys headlong into it? Would you really have them go through that kind of hell again? Nice to meet you. Have you Ooh. ever had to shoot anyone? <gasps> yes, I have. Damn. <laughs> Where'd that come I from? what you soldiers do. Soldiers like you are the reason my mom and dad left during the war, and soldiers are the reason they're dead. Ooh. Now you're here to take Ed and Al away, too. If they go, that decision will be theirs, and theirs alone. <gasps> yes. It's entirely up to them now. It's their choice. They choose their own path. If you believe the possibility exists for getting your bodies back, you should seek it out. Keep moving, whatever it takes. Being persuaded a bit. The way ahead lies the river of mud. Truthfully, I would have joined. Truthfully. There's it's nothing easy. there. Why did you become a soldier? Because there's someone I have to protect. Uh. We're leaving. Yes, sir. It's Winry. Oh. Right. She extended her Bye. handshake now. She wanted to judge her character first. I hope we meet again okay. someday. Winry? I like that. She wanted to judge her character first. And they'll come. That boy. I've never seen anyone look so defeated. That's what you saw? No. There was fire in those eyes. Ooh. That's a powerful line. There was fire in those. Sure from a fire use? user? That's crazy. <laughs> My mind's made up. How long will the surgery and rehabilitation take? I'd say about three years, more or less. Just hang in there a little longer, okay? Then we're gonna get you your body back, I promise. Right. And while we're at it, we'll get yours back, too. <laughs> Imagine he put Al into like a Chucky doll or something. At least there was a big ass suit of armor. <laughs> For real. A badass suit of armor, too. Seems like That's some like Power Ranger villain type armor. The last time I, used it. I know. Not since the night we tried to bring mom back. Right? Brother! Yeah, I'd say that's right on the money. No, it's amazing! You didn't even use a transmutation circle! You perform alchemy the same way the teacher does! Me? No, no way! So you didn't see it, did you? See what? Uh, never mind. Oh, Lord, I worked on that! Hell, if it's half as hard as you throw a wrench, I'd be surprised! Uh, for real, you could try acting more like a girl and less like a gearhead. What else has he seen? Gearhead, that's fine, but you had better get used to it. Automail, you're stuck with this gearhead whether you like it or not. I like little bro. Sir. Little bro, funny. That's true, idiot. That's His Excellency Fuhrer King Bradley. Hmm. Thank you. You may proceed with the examination. <laughs> Not even using a transmutation circle. My, that's quite something, isn't it? You know, there are some people who would see this they as a good out the way blocks. to assassinate a VIP. In the future, you might want to rethink the way you conduct these examinations. I'd say you still have. It took out the fucking blocks on that ass. Hmm? 
You put on quite a show, my naive young alchemist. Good luck with the rest of your exam. When did he draw his sword? He said you thought. <laughs> yeah? What is it? If Ed does become a state alchemist, does that mean you'll be going away? Yeah. You've just officially become a dog of the military. By order of Fuhrer King Bradley, this document certifies that Edward Elric has been appointed to the post of state alchemist and that he is hereby granted the title of Full Metal. Along with their commission, state alchemists also receive a code name. Officially, you will now be known as the Full Metal Alchemist. It's nice That's a and badass nickname. I think that'll suit me just fine. Yeah. So that's Lior. Could it really be there? Ooh. The key to finally getting Al his body back. The Philosopher's Stone. The, that, that Dracula bitch there, though. That was good. Hey, that was really good, actually. I'm not even going to cap to y'all on that. That was like no meat riding, no none of that. Like, I'm not glazing, no none of that shit. Like, real talk. That was actually, like, pretty sick. I like, you know what I'm saying? I like Al. Al's dub voice is sad as shit. Like, even when he's talking normal, I'm just like, oh, puppy. But when he, in those sad scenes, that was like, it's hard to hear him with the fucking sad music in the background. Yeah, Al's dope. Fucking... Edward's fucking gas. Mustang's cool as hell. Um, ooh, I already forgot the sword guy. The boss dude. Um, what's his name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm, it's gonna take me a bit to remember. That. They have regular ass names, but I already forgot the... There's so much information that I got from these two episodes. I'm like overloaded right now, but I'll deep dive in a second. Um, let me read just the lightning again and get into my final thoughts real quick. All right, y'all back at it um episode one and two hey bangers bro i could literally see like right now we're still in the beginning we're building shit up we're getting the lore like you know articulated we're getting the plot lines you know there was a lot to take in from that i'm definitely when i'm editing this i'm gonna re-go through a lot of this like i'm gonna be stop stopping and just re-listening to all this because so essentially Alchemy is turning something into something else. Elemental stuff, like chemistry type stuff. I, I know that's like a chemistry, like element type thing. Like actual, like zinc and going through all those actual stuff. Like the periodic table. Um, I think, I might sound stupid for that, but oh well. That's what I thought it was. Um, but you can't turn nothing into something. And that's where they're taking this into like, they're transcending this into like a spiritual kind of borderline feels like spiritually demonic because you could say that was like depicting hell but it was really producing like monstrous results so they're trying to bring that back their mom i might sound like i'm trying to like explain to y'all what's happening obviously y'all know what's happening i'm repeating it back so y'all could see if i pick it up or not because i'm trying to make it make sense to me as well they're trying to bring back their moms their dad's away for some reason, woo woo. For some reason he had this big ass army suit in the room and then he had books on alchemy. It's kind of giving like Aaron Yeager's father type shit. Kind of like that low key. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is way before Attack on Titan. So I'm kind of twisting my knobs on that low key a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to bring back the mom. They're doing alchemy shit. They were taught by that crimson dude who's in prison. And that dude seemed to be very strong and also served with that Isaac dude who was the bloodbender, waterbender motherfucker. And then had, a, I guess, a philosopher's stone or something like that. That's like all powerful and he was trying to do this big ritual to summon something. They kept showing this old dude. Don't know who that is. I wonder if that's that that figure that, um, that uh, Ed saw. You know what I'm saying? That Edward saw in that in that alternate dimension in that realm that state whatever that's called you know that aura that 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 area he was essentially transferred to you know what i'm saying i'm assuming spiritually because his body still was manifested in this world with the you know missing limb and stuff but he was also like i guess spiritually or mentally 
just in that other realm with that thing with that something that all being i gonna call it the all being for now because i don't know what it's called but that's what it was saying it was saying it was basically like god devil it was basically saying it was some insane it was everything you know like if gojo's limitless was a person it was that and i would assume it would be evil low-key because it would be a smart ass but nah bro it sacrificed his brother took his limb and then it gave him all-knowing power and resurrected or created something that they thought was going to be their mom but it wasn't we don't know what happened to it where it went because it wasn't there when they went in so whatever came from it was moving and alive when that grandma girl came through of um Wendelin. but it wasn't there when roy mustang came through so that's a plot point right there but when ed was in that realm with the all the all being it allowed him to go through this gate all-knowing knowledge that he knows he has which is weird though because he still acts very naive and he's still trying to wrap his head around like how to do this how to do that like he seems so lost for someone who went through a door that allowed him to know everything because when he was there he figured some things out and was vocal about it but kept them to himself kept it from his brother kept it from other people. like he basically was like mm, never mind type shit like he's keeping some he's he's hiding shit that he knows that he saw and i'm wondering why and the way he's moving is very i don't want to say maybe he's acting dumb because he knows what he's seen and he's treading carefully so i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's just that smart that he's like oh it's giving me aaron vibes like attack titan like he's literally spoiler when i say that like he's basically he knows the future because of how smart he is and he knows the answers to everything he just has to navigate this world now with all this information and kind of like bring it to reality literally bring whatever that was to reality interesting he came back off realized and now that makes sense now that i'm thinking about it it wasn't just that it just happened he knew that he sacrificed his arm to bring back his brother because he just automatically knew to write that symbol on that big ass arm i mean the armor being there has to probably be tied into what that meant to the father but he just knew that okay inanimate object that's basically humanoid he wrote a blood symbol on it offered something from his body his soul his everything to then put his brother back either fully or at least into the object and then once that happened basically sacrificed his whole arm so now he's missing a leg and arm but got his brother back by being in that body got his soul the soul of his brother back which is interesting and then from there you know roy came through blah 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 hella persuaded him that was not his choice he knew he was piquing that interest but it's also now making me think like there was nothing there left for ed and al that i would have probably made the same move but i really do think that spark and fire in his eye that roy saw is because he knows more than he's leading off he's being he's probably as a dumbass because he's overconfident as hell and cocky he's basically a douchebag but i love it but i think he's he's holding back on what he on what he's trying to lay low and he's playing dumb he knows more than what he's giving off and i like that a lot if, if he is doing that, I'm going to hella respect his character because I do that. I just play dumb. I know everything. Bet. I just got to go through my blueprint real quick. The, the schematic in my head. Do what I got to do. Move the way I got to move. I'm just going to act dumb around everybody else because I'm already a step ahead. You don't got to do too much. You don't got to be flashy. You don't. So, I like that. If that is that route that, that, that Ed's going down. With these two episodes, they're on a journey. They're about to meet this priest, blah, 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 to figure something out. And that's going to be that. That's going to be in that village where that Dracula shorty's at. And I'm wondering if that Dracula shorty was that is what came from the circle. Because it looked like a like a dark-haired, brunette-haired like woman. So if they're trying to bring back their mom, if they brought forth like this demon lord kind of chick, I wouldn't be surprised if that's... If that molded because my thing is it looked like it was trying to create something like bones flesh like humanoid looking so I'm, I'm wondering if it just basically turned into that chick and fled and then it just it just slowly turned into her so that's that that's interesting and they're over here talking about like oh 
there's a war and there's more to the war and that captain general dude the king dude he's like low-key there's something up with him and he's acting really nice so i'm wondering what's gonna happen when that side switches you know what i'm saying i have a bad feeling about the guy that's housing ed and al who's all like oh roy be nicer and roy like the, the eldritch brothers the, uh, with the wife and kid something is giving betrayal i don't trust him whenever you see an anime character that's all like <laughs> you guys are amazing like the cheekbones are all raised up the eyes are all like oh my god like you guys are amazing just straight glazing and gaslighting everyone or at least it seems like a gaslight, it probably is. So I don't know, off rip, don't like him because I feel like I can't trust him. Even though I want to trust his wife and kid, but I doubt they're a part of it. But there's something, because there's a, there's ex-army people in this that are basically going against it, other alchemists. So there's a lot going on there. But hey, Ed has the power to control metal essentially. From what i'm getting from that and that's like his main thing he controls his arm to do other stuff that's dope so he's basically a metal bender Ugh, like thinking all this shit because like damn bro they literally spoke about so much happened episode one and two to unpack that i'm just like Bleh. like as i'm editing i'm literally gonna be in my head like bro what's it like i don't know where the story is gonna go because it's just already starting off so complicated thank y'all for tuning in hope y'all have a good night Love and prosperity to all. Deuces.